or if anything, I would say that my really bad acne breakout that I had a few years back did grow my following. That's when I was, I would say I was the most engaged because mm. you're very relatable. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she did <Just> it. <laughs> What's up? You're listening to Randomly Relatable SG Where we talk about random things you relate to So you're very famous for or like you're more known for um, very famous for. your the skincare and the uh, yes. the acne story that you that you went through like the acne phase that you went through Talk us through like this because was that one of your insecurities? Like has it always oh been your insecurity your skin? <laughs> yeah um, I never like before that breakout. I never had like really bad skin. I had like teenage skin. Teenage like, skin. Like it got teenage people like, pimple here. Yeah, there yeah, are yeah, puberty, like, uh, stuff like uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Not like yeah, just like a couple of pimples here and there. Every you know, every, every yeah. period. Yeah, every period. That's <laughs> right. Okay. Then what one day it, yeah. I don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> so I I've, I've come to this conclusion. It's either like stress because this happened in year two poly. It was when I was doing like. I was in the I was the exco in like the SOH club. Mm. I was doing a diploma plus, and I was taking part in this competition. Um, yeah, all three of that. Then suddenly, like in a matter of like two weeks, my skin went from like normal ish to like really really bad. Like and I freaked out. Like, me, yeah. like yeah yeah like, proper like it was clumped. Yeah. Is it what was it called? Uh? It's called a uh, cystic acne. Is it? Yes, yes. You had cystic acne. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, it was okay. So bad, and we didn't know what would happen. And I had already be, already been seeing a dermatologist before this because I've got eczema also. So mm. I was already seeing a doctor, but that doctor didn't want to put me on Accutane, and I knew at that point like I needed Accutane. What's Accutane? It's, steroids. It's, uh? Yeah, steroids. Like oh. so, it basically dries your skin out, ah. and then it will dry the pimples out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was so bad, like. Even wanting to cover it was like might as well don't cover lah because it'll it'll be more obvious. And oh. removing makeup after that, like it would bleed. It'll be skin painful. Oh. It'll be painful ah. and it'll bleed. Yeah, and it took like nine months for it to flatten, and then I, then I had to oh, deal with the scars. While. Yeah, it took a really long time because at that time I was also like quite underweight. So mm. Accutane, like the dosage you get, depends on how much you weigh. So if you're light, right. then. Uh, cause it's it's quite strong, lah. Steroids, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's like going it's into cream. your body, what? Oh, is it like no, no, oral? it's oral. oral. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, I was I couldn't go on such a high dose because of my weight and because I I also got eczema because it dries your skin out, right? So, so makes it itchier. So that's why your your process was slower, lah, because you had to yes. take lesser medication. I see. Yeah. So I couldn't take such a high dose compared to other people. From my understanding, also like uh, this kind of medication is quite expensive, right? This yeah, uh, so going to I was the I'm not come, no. expensive. <laughs> 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 like my mom paid for it. <laughs> my mom paid for it. Yeah. Uh, so talking to our listeners, I was like, like because my, my fiance also has like skin problems. Yeah, I know it was very expensive to yeah, go to the dermatologist cheap. and stuff. But yeah. honestly, the medication exe- itself is not that bad. It's the consultation, it's the consultation fees. right? Yeah. <sighs> you can go up to like 100 plus 200 per session. See? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Easily. Easily. Yeah. Like one time you meet the doctor, then you have to meet every month or something, right? To yeah. get a redose of your medication. What, what, yeah. what I heard, like, if you want to go. That's the private route, lah. But if you don't want to go to the private route, you can always go polyclinic, it, get a referral. Slow, it's slow, lah. Slow. slow. It won't be much cheaper. Serious, ah? Yeah. But if you go polyclinic referral, then you go National Skin Center. Center. Uh, Na- National, National Skin, skin Center. Skin, eh? National Skin, skin Center. Center. Because I was from um Changi, like my doctor was from Changi General Hospital at first. Uh huh. So I was going there, but and I was paying around there, lah, like consultation, like 90, mm. 90 bucks, and then medication. So Plus. yeah, but then. I switched to a private doctor and his consultation fees is also $90. So it's not Same. much cheaper. Ah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. like you get subsidy from the medication. I'm not too sure. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So from from after that nine month, uh, that period, then like you, we, we want to talk about this because it's an insecurity. Like, so what, what what do you feel about like these certain insecurities and should people fix it? And like- um, How do you deal yeah, with how it? How do you deal with it? Yeah. What are some of your tips? Especially for a person who is, who has 50,000 followers, you know? Yeah. yeah. So- it was, you know, like in poly, everyone's so vain, right? Like that's like your peak. Like everyone's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> you dress up, you want to yeah. put on makeup to school for God knows what reason. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So so it was like, you feel like shit lah. And then, mm. and then people start to talk about it. Mm. And then- There were people talking about it. Yeah. Why? I don't know. People. They, they think that's their problem, but it's not. Yeah. It's not their problem. How do you find out they were talking about it? They would talk straight to my face, like, oh. why your skin like that? Ooh. Yeah. But like friends, uh. 
um friends, relatives. Yeah. But like I mean okay you want to ask like a random you, you guy can ask. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, if, if it was a random Excuse person, me, I really uh, put them in your place. Face like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. But I did like when I would go for shoots. Still, mm-hmm. um, at the beginning, no, not not at the beginning. Sorry, at the, towards the end, like when my skin started to like really like flatten and it could be covered up with makeup. Yeah. Um, that's when like all the makeup artists were like, "Wow, your skin ah, like better." Yeah. yeah. Oh. And I'm like. It was worse. <laughs> Throughout that time, did you get any shoes? Did you get any gigs? So, um, at that time, I was under f- my agency. Uh, um, so, I told them, I was like, don't even bother calling me because I know no client would want me. So, I was oh. just quite straight up. La. I was like, there's no chance like they would book me because uh, covering that up would be too difficult. So, yeah, I took a step back. stories, you know, like quite... Yeah, so at that point, like, because I was quite active on social media. So, I was like, you know what? Let's just embrace it. Like, yeah, it would make me feel like shit sometimes, mm. but... I know that I wasn't alone going through this. I know many other people were going through it as well. So it didn't really bother me too much. But some people were like, oh, are you still there to post uh, your face like that? Ooh. And you're just like, I mean, got nothing to hide. Like, yeah, this is my face, but it's not going to be like that forever. How do you get that mindset shift yeah. that a lot of people should have? I really don't know, you know. Is it just because of confidence? Because like, do you know you're pretty? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like it helps you know, I mean, if you know I mean, your like, pretty. Yeah, I I know that I'm not ugly. Okay, okay. <laughs> so confident, I'm gonna hate me for this. Self love, self love, self love, yeah. self love. <laughs> so like, yeah, yeah. I I know that I've been given good genes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like maybe that actually helped, you know? Possibly, but mm. honestly, like when your skin looks like that, right? Like no matter what, you, when you already look, you you look at yourself, you're like, oh my god, I look so bad. Then you just don't care about how you look anymore. So I, uh, I wouldn't put any effort to go to school after that. Like uh, my hair, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I, thought, I thought you never go to school. Oh, no, no, I still uh. went to school. Still a good student. I would just like, anyhow wear lah. Like just wear t-shirt, jeans. Then my hair, like one kind. And just whatever. So you just gave up ah? Yeah, I gave up. Oh, for nine months? Like, yeah, I was like, forget it. Like, there's nothing much I can do at this point. Yeah. So I might as well just... Don't bother. Yeah, don't bother, uh, yeah. Is the... Yeah. What's that popular book? The orange colour book? Orange color. Oh, the art. Uh, uh, subtle, uh, yeah. So you just stop. Yeah. Giving a shit. Uh. Yeah. And obviously, like my friends, like my close friends around me were quite supportive. Like, they were very nice about it. They're like, don't worry, it's just a phase, like, it's gonna go away. So the, the closer people around me were very encouraging. So I think that helped. Mm. But you just can't. So what were you wearing before this? <laughs> oh dress up, man. Serious, huh? Yeah. Give them, like dress. Yeah, yeah. The, the influencers is in school, uh, like no, 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 not heels, not heels. Yeah, oh man. Like, heels to RP. Yeah. <laughs> if you're 8 o'clock plus, what's yeah. the odds of seeing you with full face makeup at 8 o'clock? Got high chance. Thing is, right, my Shit. dad my dad would, would drop me off every morning. So I was always the first one in class. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So With full face, huh? the boys in your yeah. class must make sure they look good. Yeah. Not, oh, no, the only, class a, a few, like, <laughs> only like five guys in my class oh, or yeah. less than that. Yeah, not many guys, but yeah, yeah it's, it's just... Whatever, it's something that you is it something you it. like or is something that you 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 felt that like, okay I'm you in this space to. I have to no really no no, like, no. You it, really was, it, it wasn't that, that, that yeah yeah at that point yeah good. now now I feel the pressure to like put in a bit of effort whenever I go out because I'm like what if <laughs> 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 yeah. now I feel some kind of pressure but Back in the day, I, was, I really, really didn't. Really I really it, didn't uh. care about what people think. I just do whatever I wanted. You did because you liked it. Right? You did yeah, because yeah. you wanted to. Yeah, and I think at that time I had just started wearing makeup, so I, I was a bit excited, lah. Because even my mm. parents were like, "You're going to school. What are you doing?" Uh. I'm like, "Yeah, you go to school. You take picture, what? In the staircase, <laughs> you know, every day." The RP yeah. classic photo at the staircase, yeah, right? Man. Oh, first, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, y